is news that just does not want to work. <laughs>
than on my own. And experts say you can kind of use that mindset when you're thinking about your money. Sometimes it's better to work with a group and it'll make you more successful. Now I've watched my money double. I'm not kidding you. My money has doubled. And this is since the pandemic happened in March. Zena Elin's accounts are doing better than ever, and she credits it all to a group of women, many of whom she's never met. She's part of a Facebook group of like-minded women who talk about money and keeping each other accountable on their financial goals and setbacks. It's okay. You're not the only one. There are others out there like you who have done far worse, some far better. And I'm learning from these wonderful group of women. The interesting thing even the studies show that if you have that two, those two elements of accountability and support, you have a 65% more likely time of uh, achieving your goal. Financial and wealth expert Deborah Owen says during the pandemic, she heard from countless women worried about money in their 401ks, the stock market, and dwindling savings accounts. What we've seen is that people have now, a couple of things, realized that uncertainty, anything can happen. And so it's important to have that cash reserves. Deborah put together a Facebook group that Zena joined to help women find advice and information. Zena found tips on areas where she could cut down on spending and then put that money to better use. And so far, she said, it's been successful. Don't wait for a crisis to get it together. Start getting it together now. That's right. That's right. Don't wait for a crisis to get it together. Start getting it together. Now it's Friday and that means it's the final day of the five-day savvy money makeover. And I'm excited. I hope you are. We're going to be welcoming many of you into the Wealthy Youth Society this evening so that you can join our Seven Figure Sisterhood. And the reason why I wanted to show Zena's story tonight, because many folks can test testify to the fact that when you're in a circle, you fly higher and there's nothing like having accountability and support. And I hope that is what you have felt this week because I certainly have felt it from all of you getting to know you. I hope you've gotten to know your ambassadors and many of the women who are a part of this sisterhood. So tonight, tonight we are going to be celebrating your wins and I really want to, to share with you, hey, if you know there's someone else who needs to be hanging out with us tonight, it's our fifth day. Tag them and tell them to come on in and join us because we are going to be celebrating those of you who have invested in yourself. And this is the fifth day of our five-day Savvy Money Makeover we open the doors to our Wealthy You programs and many of you applied. If you haven't applied, make sure that you apply because we wanna make sure that you are in the right place and that we are able to help you to accelerate your financial growth to seven figures and beyond. Who's ready to accelerate their financial growth to seven figures and beyond, because that's really what this five-day savvy money makeover was about. It was about recession-proofing your portfolio. And I hope that you've learned uh, a lot. And so I want to begin by just recapping what this five-day sa savvy money makeover has been about. The first day. And wait a minute, before I get started, give me some shout outs. Who's in the chat? I want to see who is in the chat with me tonight. Who has been here all five days so that I can show you some love? Who's been here all five days? If you've been here all five days, I want to put your, I want to want you to put in the chat that you've been here all five days. Okay, Martha, Martha, and by the way, I want to welcome you into our Savvy Sister 
Hood, you just joined. And let me tell you, your, your life is about to change and you're about to go to the next level. So let's give Martha some love. I know that you, anybody who's been here all five days that you're ready to lean in, Sharon, that's okay. You're here. You can watch the replay. You're absolutely right. Jacqueline Vault win all five days. That's right. Wonderful. Jacqueline Hilda's been here four days. Excited. Well, we're excited you're here because one of the things that I know is that the women who lean in are the women who accelerate and get further faster. So I am so excited. If you've been here four days, Hilda, love, love, love the fact that you've been here four days and that shows your commitment. How many of you were able to make it for at least three days of our five-day money makeover challenge? If you've been here three days, I want a three or four days. I'm going to show you some love too. Uh, I'm so excited. Oh, Frida's been here four days. Love it. Gre uh, greetings to you as well. Uh, we are so excited that you're here. Uh, but I want to, before I go over the recap, uh, let's see. Yeah, so we, uh, oh, Nefertari, one of our winners from our last event. Welcome. We're glad that you're here as well. Uh, so excited to see all of you. But you know what? Before I get started recapping, this week, I think it's important for all of you to learn just a little bit about why this is so important, why we have these challenges, why uh, Wealthy You is here. That's what's important for you to understand. And what I want you to know is that every day when I wake up, I have the privilege really the privilege of getting text and hearing from women who uh, maybe they finally maxed out their 401k, maybe they achieved their first six figures, maybe they paid off all their debt, maybe their credit score is 800, maybe they got a raise of 40%. In fact, the, the video that you just saw is uh, from Zeno who was interviewed. That was right after the pandemic. I'm gonna be interviewing Zena again because since that, she has made more income this year than she ever made in her entire career and she has a business. So I can't wait for you to continue to hear the financial transformations that the women in Wealthy You are experiencing. And it's not because of me. That's what I want you to understand. Our secret sauce is the community. How many of you have felt the energy and the love of the team and the community that they have for you? If you have been inspired this week in the chat, I want you to put that you have been inspired and that you feel like this is a sister circle. Is this a circle you want to belong to? In the chat, tell me if you're inspired. If, you, or if you're, you've been inspired this week in the chat, tell me that you have been inspired. I hope so. I hope so. I hope you've been inspired by the stories that you've heard every evening. If you, thank you, Frida, you've been inspired. Linda Walker says, yes, I am spy. I'm inspired. Sharon says, I have been inspired to see like-minded women. Here's what I hope that you have learned this week is that the conversation is different when you're with a circle of winners. The conversation is different. And that's what this night is going to be about. So I want you to begin to think right now about 
uh, the wins that you've had this week, what are the takeaways? What was the value that you received out of joining us for this entire week? Because in just a minute, we're going to talk about the wins that you had for this through this challenge. So I hope you will share with us any specific thing that you were impacted by and anything that changed for you. I love it. So let me say, so Hilda says a lot of positive energy, uplifting and encouragement. Jacqueline says inspire. Uh, Nefertari says, yes, as always, thank you. Martha says, I have been inspired. Sharon says, I have been inspired to see like-minded women. I've been inspired. I've been inspired. The question I have for you is, what if this wasn't just for this week? What was, what if this was every day for the rest of your life? Here's what I want you to say, to understand, is it's all about the energy that you're surrounded by. You are the sum total of the people that you spend your most time with. And if you are stuck, if you are not where you want to be, if you feel like you keep hitting roadblocks, if you feel like the people around you aren't supporting you, if you had dreams and you've given up on them, if you know in your heart of hearts that there is more in life for you, all I got to tell you is you're in the right place. Because in wealthy you, that is what happens. People begin to dream again. One of the first exercises that you are going to embark on in wealthy you is you're going to create your wealthy vision. You're going to dig up all of those dreams that you had just buried and that were in the, the graveyard of dreams because you were not able to execute on it because you thought you weren't worthy of it and the people around you thought you weren't worthy of it and the job that you had said, no girl, you can't do that. And all of the dreams that you had that were buried, it, am I talking to anybody tonight? Am I talking to anybody tonight that you had dreams that you were gonna have your forever home, that you were gonna be debt free, that you were gonna travel the world, that you were gonna have that beach house, that all of those dreams that you had hoped you would achieve by now, are, are any of you feeling discouraged? Maybe like you got to downsize a little bit Maybe you're feeling like you got to be more realistic. Maybe the people around you are saying, girl, you're doing all right. I don't understand. Why are you always talking about you got to do this and you got to do that? And some of you even went. And did anybody, any of you share about the Savvy Money Makeover Challenge and that there's this group of women and that they're all together and that they talk about investments and stocks and growth and all the things that you can do. Did anybody go and share that with somebody and they look look at you and maybe they said, mm, that sounds all right. Or, you know, maybe those are just pipe dreams. Did anybody you ex experience it that this week? If you did, let me know. If you're feeling, if you were feeling discouraged, if you were feeling like you got to downsize your dream, what I got to tell you today is it's time to up level. Who's ready to up level in the chat? If you're ready to level up, if you're ready to level up, tell me I'm ready to level up. Are you ready to level up? Because that's why you're here. You're not here by any mistake. There's, there's not a mistake. There's a reason that you've been here hanging out with us all week because you feel the energy. You know, there's something different. Well, let me just start and tell you a story. You know, um, she was the daughter of a sharecropper. 
And she worked in the fields in Pine Apple, Alabama. And she was the fifth of 11 children. And she would be in that field. And it's funny, my, uh, I was told that she would put things in the bag to make it seem like she had picked more cotton than was really in the bag. And that's because it was back breaking work. And she would sit in that field and she would dream of the day when she would travel far, far away from there. And as chance would have it, she would go into the big city, Camden, Alabama with her sisters and there spotted a young man carrying a briefcase. And they talked and they, and she shared how they, he would, they could travel the world to get together. And after convincing her aunt that he would take care of her before graduating high school in the 11th grade, she followed that young man to Washington, DC. And they would have their first child. And then they would have their second child in Honolulu, Hawaii. And then they would settle in Detroit and he would work as a sky cap for an airlines and she would work in the factory and they would have three more children. And as their incomes increased, so did their standard of living. The houses got a little better, the cars got a little nicer. And then as they neared retirement, they always dreamed of going back to that idyllic place where their second child was born. And they did because that airline expanded into Honolulu, Hawaii. And they would buy a nice little condo and the future was very bright. And then after 33 years of marriage, they would separate. And that young woman from Pineapple, Alabama would find herself in one of the most expensive cities in the world and not having enough money, just enough to get by, a little social security check and a small pension for those 10 years that she worked in that factory. And she would see her standard of living go from middle class to just about poverty. And the woman that I just, the story that you just heard is the story of my mother. And I was 18 years old when this happened. And all I could think to myself was that I would always have a purse of my own. And so people often wonder what inspires me and why I am able to get up every day and cheer women on. It is because of her. And you know, what I found as I went on in my career is that my mother's story was not the exception. It was the rule that nine out of 10 women would be responsible for their own financial future. They would either, they would either never marry marry and separate as my parents did. They never divorce or their husbands would predecease them. And so the reason that this mission is so important, it's because it's personal. But not only is it personal, what I want you to understand is that this mission is about making sure, making sure that every woman has a purse of her own. Because if she does, what she is able to do is not only impact her own life, because that's not what we do as women. We impact everyone around us. Are you with me? And so what I want you to understand is that it is not the money it's the mission. Are y'all with me? So I know I got a little, if you, you know, you will read when you, when you join the Wealthy Youth Society, 
the curriculum is based on my book, A Purse of Your Own. And that's why I wrote that story. So what I want you to know is the that, that I had a dream being 18 years old. And from there, I don't know why economic security was so important to me. But then as I wrote my book, I understood why when I sauntered in that Merle Lynch office and saw that there was a different way, a different way that, that, that I wanted to tell everybody. I don't want to keep that knowledge to myself. And so I went on and I was able to finally see that there was another way that 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 that, that there it wasn't just working for an income it was being able to turn your income into wealth and then i went on and i've been driven i've been driven for more than 30 years to change the financial condition of women and imagine having that dream and that what i want you to know don't downsize your dream I never had anyone, I never wrote a book before and someone asked me to write a book and then somebody helped me write that first book. And then I wanted to, I wanted to go on tour and then the, and then I got help from a score counselor. And then he told me that it was that what I needed to do was to change things. And then from there I had uh, investment companies uh, uh, being my sponsor and sponsoring my tours. And then I went on and I've been married for, we just, we just celebrated our 35th anniversary. I have two wonderful children who are thriving. And every dream took, it took a risk. It took a risk. And what I want you to know is that, it, are you going to bet on yourself? Are you going to invest in yourself? Are you going to get the help that you need? Well, that's exactly why you've been here for the past five days. And I want you to understand that. Listen, I know what the fear is. So let me just go there. Like I have heard it all. And the reason I've heard it all is because I've told myself the same thing. When someone was willing to say, Deb, I can help you grow this business and make more impact. And they told me it was going to be tens of thousands of dollars. I talked myself. I said, oh, I thought about all the reasons I could not afford to do it. Until my husband, who's been watching me the entire time, my biggest supporter, who's right here manning the camera tonight, said, write the check, right? And then at every point that it was time to invest, even when I left that six-figure job and, and all of the bonuses and all of the perks, every step of the way, it has taken taking a risk. Are y'all with me? But what I want you to know is it's been worth it. It's been worth it, right? Because after every investment, there was a return on investment. There was more people. There was no more technical know-how. There was the ability to hire the right people, to be with the right people, to be in a mastermind, to have other people show me the way that I had never been. And I struggled for many years. That's what I want you to know. You're probably looking at me sitting behind this fireplace in a, in a studio that we built from the ground up. But the reason that we were able to accomplish that is because we were willing to go know where places that we had never been. Are you with me? And so what I want you to know, ladies, I want to welcome the women who have bet on them, but there are many of you who know that you need to be here. 
you know you need to be here. So in the chat, I want to make sure that if you're on the fence, if you haven't sat with and talked to one of our wealthy you ambassadors, because they've been trying to talk with you, then I want to make sure you do that. So in the chat, if we could put the links to joining the Wealthy Youth Society in so you can join Janice and you can join Martha and you can join the many other women who are going to make a difference in their life, accelerate their financial growth, then I want you to join us. But let me just recap where we've been this week. So day one, was making the shift to a wealth mindset. And that was understanding that problems are opportunities. And right now sitting in front of you is another opportunity where there is gonna be great wealth in this made in this economic uncertainty. And what I want you to know is that you need to be willing, now more than ever, you need to lock arms with like-minded women who have the wealth mindset and are going to help you move beyond your fear and obstacles, lean into the fear. Because what I want you to know is everything that you've ever dreamed of, all of those dreams that you've buried, they're on the other side of that fear. Do you get that? This is not about downsizing your dreams. This is about you dreaming bigger, and, and accomplishing all of the things that you said you were going to do, but the only reason you can't accomplish it is because you don't know how. And I can say very confidently, we have the framework that will that has transformed women over and over and over again. And all that knowledge that's been hidden from you, it is right in the door it's all you got to do is open that door and walk in. And I need you to understand that you have to invest to the level of the results that you want to achieve. And if you're ready to go higher, you have made the shift from an income to a wealth mindset. So in the chat, before I go any further from day one, what were your takeaways from day one? What do you now know is required for you to shift from that income into to a wealth mindset? In the chat, let me hear. What was your takeaway on wealth mindset? What does it mean to make that shift? I want to make sure that you internalize these concepts so that whether you join us or not, you can apply what you are learning. So what is making the shift from an income to a wealth mindset? I want to see who comes up with the answer and how you're seeing that in your own life. Come on, ladies, come on. I'm going to give you just a few minutes. I know you've got to think about it. So day one, what was the value? That's right, Shelby, execution. Absolutely. It's not just thinking about it. Hilda says, budgeting and learning the difference between your wants and your needs and necessity. That's right. Well, here's the main theme from that first day. And I explained the difference between an income and a wealth mindset. And if you purchase the kit, in that nickel and dime your wealth, way to wealth book, there are nuggets. The difference, people with a poverty mindset think and manage their money. Let me see if you remember that. What was the time frame? Poverty mindset, think and manage your money. You remember that guys? I'm gonna give you just a few minutes. What was the time frame? Who's gonna come up with it first? Poverty mindset. Day to day, that's right, Shelby. People with a poor mindset. I knew you guys would get it free to day to day, right? So people with a poor mindset 
What is their mentality? How do they manage their money? A poverty mindset. That's right, Hilda, day to day. Now we're at uh, uh, week to week. That's right. That's a poor mindset, right? That's that paycheck to paycheck mentality. People with a middle class mindset think and manage their money what? Middle class mindset time frame is... Ah, oh, come on, folks. That's right. Month to month. People with an affluent mindset, what is it? Affluent? Annually, that's right. They've allocated their resources, their budgeting. That's right. Year to year, Martha. People with a rich mindset, and that's sort of new money. Those that That's people who wear their wealth, but they still have a future mindset. And that's what? Decade to decade. That's right. And then people with a wealth mindset think and manage their money. This is good. See, I love doing this because that means that you've internalized that. So generation to generation, Frida, you are a great study. And what that tells me, ladies, is that you've already made the shift. And the difference between having a poverty mindset and a wealth mindset is a future focus. And it means that the decisions you make today, you're looking at how they are impacted from week to week. Good job, ladies. Now let's go to day two. Day two was the seven figure savvy money makeover. And that's when you were looking through your budget. You've had a week now. You were supposed to go and look at where your money was going, look at those subscriptions, go and ne negotiate with your, uh, your, your homeowners. You were finding the money to invest. That's right. You were calling up the cable company and saying, look, if you don't give me this, we're going to do that. You were doing so many things. You were finding the money. So the question I have for you is how much did you find? How much did you find in that cash flow? Or you remember Sharon Dean's video, she said, yeah, I had to clean out my purse and she found thousands of dollars. And so in the chat, tell me if you were able to find additional dollars, let me know how much you found because that's where you begin to build your fortune. You learn how to manage the money you have today. And day three, we really had the, uh, uh, put the, pedal to the metal, if you will. And I talked about, and you learned about the high net worth strategies that the wealthy use to accelerate their financial growth. And the whole, uh, uh, the, the exercise was really for you to find out what rate of return you're earning. Many of you in your portfolios, and this is a fact, Many of you have been investing in your retirement plans for years and would already be millionaires if you knew how to uh, increase your rate of return, make sure, like you saw in Belinda's story, that you're paying low fees and that you're earning more monies. So how many of you actually went, and I know some of you shared it, what was your personal rate of return that you were earning on your money? Do you remember that? I think someone said they had a negative 13%. I think that was, uh, 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 it was Nadine said that. Someone else said they had a negative 4%. And here's what I want you to know is that in wealthy you, you're going to learn how to get the average rate of return, historical rate of returns, and in investments, that's upwards of 10%. And that's how you learn how to make your money grow. That's what the wealthy know that we don't. And then 
Then on the fourth day, what did you learn? It was the portfolio challenge. And what you learn is how to build wealth, whether the market is up or, up or down and how you're standing 10 feet away from gold. And that fortune literally are the products and services and the things that you do every day, really understanding how to analyze and research stuff, right? And so now we've been through four days and today is all about your wins and your wins and wealthy you, we have an acronym called winners. And that's what you've been with this week. Winning is I want it, I have the desire. I know that I am responsible and no excuses, right? And I hope that's what you learned. That was my desire for all of you this week to learn that not only are you in a room of winners and that the conversation is different, but that you should have some wins too. And so the question I have for you is, what were your wins from this week? Your takeaways, what value what was the most value that you received from participating in the challenge this week? Go right ahead. Some of you said that you understand now the difference between a wealth and an income mindset. What, what are your takeaways? I want to hear because all of those are wins. Yeah, put it in the chat. Let us know, put it in the chat. Because what I want you to know is when you share your, what you internalize, what you take away, you're gonna inspire some other, not, not someone else. And that really is the secret sauce of wealthy you. It's that we don't know what we don't know. Okay, woo. Frida, did, Frida says, confirmation that I need to be consistent and no more excuses. I love that. And you know what, Frida? One of the things that I tell the women and wealthy you when we start talking about uh, uh, excuses is ex uh, excuses are just lies that we tell ourselves disguised as reasons. That's how we come up with reasons. Love it. So Hilda says, changing my train of thought process when it comes to wealth. So true. You know, Hilda, what we think about, we bring about literally, there are, there's energy in our thoughts and what it's important for you. You, you have all heard me say, you have all heard me say that there is energy in our thoughts and you've heard the affirmations and those affirmations are, and I hope you all believe this, is that you have everything you need to be everything you need to be. The only thing standing between you and the life that you desire is the knowledge of how to make it happen. Uh, let's see, uh, Martha says, First, I need to shift my mindset. And I love that you said that, Martha, because you know what? Our biggest adversary, you know who our biggest adversary is? The person that we look at in the mirror every day and the doubts that we have. This is so good, so good. Levada says, like Martha, I need to shift my mindset and learn to analyze, research, and find the diamonds in the rubble. And that is stocks. That's right, Levada. That's what the wealthy know that most of us don't. And that's exactly what you learn in Wealthy You. And Hilda said, that's right. That biggest adversary 
are the things you can't, you tell yourself, if you think you can, and you think you can't, or you think you can't, you're right. And let me tell you, you will make it happen. That's how strong belief is. Our belief is so strong. There's like, there, there's the law of polarity. And the law of polarity says, if there is a negative, there is a positive, right? That's the law of polarity. And how we view things, if we view things are as negative, then our belief systems and our actions are going to align to that, right? If we think things are positive, then our belief and then our actions are going to align with that. We behave as we believe and we will make the outcome we desire. And that's why it's important to tell yourself that everything is working in my favor. That's one of my favorite gospels. Where everything is working in my favor. And when you can say that, it doesn't matter what happens. You never lose. You never lose. You either win or you learn. And that is a wealth mindset. All right, let's see. Now, here's what I want you to know. We open the doors on Wednesday. And many of you said you were running in when we opened those doors. Now, here's what I want you to know is that those doors are open. Let's put the doors of the Wealthy Youth Society in the chat. Now, one of the other things too is, here is my commitment to you. This is about all of you winning and if you join tonight, you're still going to get your strategy session with me and you're gonna come out with your seven figure blueprint and you're gonna know exactly what you need to become one of the women who are seven figures and beyond. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Many of our wealthy youth sisters are here and that's what's fabulous. You know, a lot of the women here are already in Wealthy Youth Society. And what they desire for you is for you to have the same kind of experience that they're having. But not only that, they lean in and they know the power of this group and the power and the energy from it and what it allows you to do. So we've opened the doors. The link is in the chat. Listen. I can tell you unequivocally, but I guess the, ha the question I have for you is what will happen if you don't join Wealthy You? Are you satisfied with the results that you have or what are you going to do differently if you don't join? That's the question I have for you. What are you going to do differently if you don't join? How will your life be any different? That's the question that I have for, for, for all of you. The doors are open. Now, let me tell you something else. One of the other things that we also did was we decided to give you some other opportunities, right? So we have... Uh, we want to make sure that you're able to participate in Wealthy You. And so one of the things I want to make sure that you all do is connect with your Wealthy You ambassadors because we have payment plans and we have flexible pay payment plans so that you're able to fit it into your budget. But here's what I want you to know. Not only do you need to invest to the level of results that you want to see, but what I know to be true is that many of you, just based on the knowledge that you're going to have in the next few months, are going to see a return on investment because many of you, and I know this, 
the investments that you already have are not performing. And do you know how I know that? Because I read your application. And I know that many of you are running for your first six figures. Some of you are over six figures, but I know once you gain this knowledge that if you had had it, so that's the question I have for you. That's the question is through all the things that we covered this week, if you had had access to this knowledge around high net worth strategies and how to invest and accelerate your return, would you be further ahead? That's the question that I have for you. How many of you now finally feel that you're gonna be able to not only get your first six figures, but run for that seven figures. If you believe that you, based on the little bit of knowledge you've gotten this week, that you're going to be able to go to seven figures and be on. If you made that shift from that income to wealth mindset and how you're thinking, do you now believe it's even possible? Do you believe it's possible for you to be like Belinda, for you to be like all of the women's stories that you saw this week. If you believe that it's possible for you, I want to be, I want you to affirm it in the chat and say, yes, I'm going to be one of the million with the million. If that is you, put it in the chat. Because ladies, let me tell you, not only is it possible, but what you have seen in this past week is evidence of it. Have you seen evidence of the fact that if you apply what you learn in Wealthy You, that it is possible to go it to seven figures and beyond? Uh, <laughs> are you going to be, that's right, one of the million with a million? That's what I wanna know. Do you, based on what you've learned this week, do you think it's possible? If you think it's possible in the chat, put it's possible. Nefertari says, I'm going to be one of the million with a million. That's right. Virginia, that's right. It is possible. Frida, it's possible. That's right. It's absolute. Martha, yes, I am going to be one of the million with a million. And you're right, Martha and Janice, welcome to the sisterhood. You're in the sisterhood. My question is, which, how many others of you are going to join our Wealthy You Society? How many of you are going to finally bet on yourself? Well, here's what I want you to know. The doors are open. We've seen your applications. You all have the ability to build your first six figures, seven figures and beyond. The doors of the Wealthy Youth Society opened on Wednesday night. I said, I'm gonna keep my word and say that for those of you who join tonight, you're still going to qualify for that one hour strategy session with me, where we literally are going to build out your seven figure blueprint and you're going to know, we're going to identify your opportunity levers and they're different for everybody and exactly what you need to do, what levers you need to pull. And then in the next 12 months, you are going to see the same kind of uh, 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 achievement that you've seen all of our wealthy you goal getters that have been pro profiled. Imagine. Now, here's what I want you to know. Once you join the Wealthy You Society and when you have your financial transformation, one of the things I ask of all of the women in Wealthy You is that you will share it with you, with, with others. Now, can you imagine you saw Belinda and you haven't seen half of them. You saw Belinda you saw, uh, who else did you see? You saw Sharon Deans. You probably saw her in the Facebook ads. Who else did you see? You just saw Zena. 
uh, uh, Tamika. Well, no, you saw Dia. And that's right. That's right. Here's what I want to share with you guys, though. I, I almost slept through this. I want to share the story of someone else who, uh, just a, a, a remarkable story. Let me sh make sure I've got that uh, video. Give me just a second. Oh, man, I thought I had her video all up. Hang on one second, because uh, I have got to get this video for you guys. Hang on just a minute. Bear with me, because it is so inspiring. Uh, I thought I had it all queued up for you, but just bear with me daughter of immigrants. Um, my family is uh, Bahamian Haitian. And I, honestly, I believe that background is what helped me uh, have the fortitude to be able to see this situation through. Uh, I, you know, I live in Maryland now, but I came to the Washington DC area to study at Howard University. You know, I wanted to be the next Connie Chung when I was a teen. So I was going for that dream wholeheartedly since I was a teenager. So nothing was going to get in my way. And by the time I got to Howard University, at that time I was about 19 years old. And what was placed in front of me was a promissory note that said that, hey, if you sign this document, you can be able to achieve your dream, not really understanding the full foresight of what I was going to be experiencing right after college. So by the time I got introduced to you, I was already kind of primed in the, in the mindset of reaching the next level. I just didn't quite understand how to get there. So when I reached out to you, we had a conversation. And the first thing we talked about was mindset. And once the mindset was created and the vision was created, then it was, all right, now strategy. So I started reevaluating my career, started um, reapplying for positions and even searching for a promotion within my own the own, my, my, uh, my current clients. And that's what actually happened to me the year where everything opened up for me. I was able to uh, get promoted with a company I was already in because at that point, that point in time, um, I didn't quite understand where the gaps were until I started the program. And then after the program, I was able to kind of reframe the services and, and my talents differently to the company so that I was then promoted into a role. And so by the end of that year, I was able to pay off what I needed to and have, have monies left over to then push myself into a six-figure retirement portfolio. What you need is a process because the process will then multiply when you have more money. If you have no process, then that same chaos is going to get multiplied when you get more money. So the idea is to create a process and figure out what that process is for you. For me, it was knowing, okay, I have this debt to pay for, I have a car, I have my student loan, I have investments that I want to potentially make, I have, you know, all these different little banks, and then create accounts if that works for you with different companies or um, if it works for you to have the same company, but then different bank accounts. And then at that point in time, you can put $2, $5, $10, but the process is really what you want to start getting yourself into the habit of doing. I, you know, out of the many jobs that I had, I said, okay, I'm going to get a job that's going to specifically be for paying off student loan and, and my student loans. And what I'm going to do is get a bank account. And every time I make that money, I'm not even going to look at it. I just put that money straight into that bank account. And that's what I've been, that's what I did. Uh, and so the one job, and then I just kind of put money aside in the, in the bank account. And I did that for my student loans. But, you know, when, um, I think by the end of the, the year that we had met and I had been strategizing, I still had about $40,000 left. And that increase in uh, my income and then the strategy I've been, you know, in pouring, uh, a strategy I had been um, 
basically executing within that whole year allowed me to pull that trigger. But I must say, Deborah, I was still scared. I was like, I don't know what to do. Uh, do I pay it now or what? And then I just had to say, you know what, Tamika, you this is something you always wanted to do. Make this your goal. It's not about what I'm doing. It's about who I am and what I'm bringing to the table. And I could apply this to anything else. And that's what really kind of planted the seed for me to be able to attack the goal of paying off my student loans and getting to six figures in my, my retirement. Boom. And here's what I want you to know. <laughs> what did you guys think about that story? What did you think about it? I mean, here's what I want you to know. When I met Tamika, Tamika had student loan debt. She didn't have, she didn't, uh, uh, she said, and you didn't see this, but in another thing, she says, I had a negative 40,000 in net worth. Uh, I, Tamika just, well, she hit six figures in her retirement plan and just purchased a new home as well as had a baby while she was in uh uh, wealthy you. So here's what I want you to know. If it can happen for her, it can happen for you. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you start, but what matters is you start. So that's the question. In the chat, I want to invite you to join us in the Wealthy You Society so that you can become one of a million with a million our doors close Sunday night. They close Sunday night. But remember, tonight, if you join, you're going to get that one hour strategy session with me. And I'm just briefly uh, want to go over the program. So the Wealthy You Society that you're going to, to be joining has an all access pass to our Wealthy You portal which is a 10 module curriculum. You have weekly skill building sessions. You're gonna learn how to analyze and research your existing investments. You're gonna learn how to analyze and research stocks. You're gonna learn what your, uh, your, your seven figure blueprint, your road to financial independence. And for those of you, and you wanna join right now, you're going to go through that process with me and we're going to create your seven-figure blueprint. You're going to get access to all of our digital assets, all of my books, A Purse of Your Own, Nickel and Dime, Your Way to Wealth. You're going to get access to all of the master classes that are going to show you exactly how to level up. And Tamika shares that process that she used to then not only increase her income, but be able to convey what she's worth. What you're going to find that it is the triple, it's a trickle effect. You're gonna have your own member success advisor. She's your Wealthy You ambassador now. You're gonna have all access pass to all of our future master classes and any courses that we introduce. What I want you to understand is this is an investment. And what I want you to know is, would you invest the money today so that is it worth getting to that, achieving your first six figures? If you can invest a few thousand dollars and have the framework and the process that all of the women you have seen have used to what it took them 25 years to save that within just a few years doubled it. You heard that with, uh, with uh, Zena tonight. You heard that Tamika uh, uh, went to her first six figures after being in debt. Now she's debt free. You heard that uh, Sharon Deans went from a negative $5,700 in net worth and the stories go on and on and on. And so what I want you to know is it can happen for them, it can happen for you, but it will only happen if you take 
the step and you bet on yourself. So I can't wait to welcome you into the wealthy youth society, our seven figure sisterhood. You're gonna lock arms and you're now gonna be in a circle, a circle that you've been searching for, a circle of like-minded women who are going to inspire you. This energy, this time that you spent with me this week, well, this goes on every day of the week in Wealthy You, and I can't wait for you to be inspired. So again, if you need to talk to your ambassador in the chat, put you need to talk to your ambassador. Many of them have reached out to you. You can even send them a, a personal chat. They're waiting for you. The doors are open and I can't wait for the time that I'm gonna be in, in interviewing you on Get Wealthy and you're going to be telling people how you were sitting in this Savvy Money Makeover Challenge and you were able to pay off your debt, uh, 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 reach your first six and seven figures, buy your dream home like Tamika do, did, buy your first rental property, all those dreams that you had kept to the curb, thinking that it wasn't possible for you, well, not only is it possible for you, it will become a reality. And the way that the only thing standing between you and the future that you desire is knowledge. And that's what Wealthy You was designed for. So I hope you've enjoyed our five-day Savvy Money Makeover Challenge. I want to thank the team for showing up for you every night, but do know that your Wealthy You ambassadors are waiting to hear from you. We are there to uh, uh, help you to be able to make this investment and to be flexible about the way that you do. And I can't wait to see all of you in our orientation and for your one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. That's going to do it for me this evening, folks. Have a prosperous weekend, everybody. And I can't wait to see you in the Wealthy Youth Society. I'm Deborah Owens, America's Wealth Coach, where we help women build their first investment portfolios to seven figures and beyond. <laughs> Thank you.